by Thomas Adamson, AP fashion writer published 3.25 p.m. Central Standard Time, Tuesday, January 22, 2019 A model walks the runway during the Giorgio Armani Prif Spring Summer 2019 show as part of Paris Fashion Week. A model waxed the runway during the Giorgio Armani Prif Spring Summer 2019 show as part of Paris Fashion Week. Photo, Pascal Le Segretain, Staff, Getty Images Photo, Pascal Le Segretain, Staff, Getty Images A model walks the runway during the Giorgio Armani Prif Spring Summer 2019 show as part of Paris Fashion Week. A model waxed the runway during the Giorgio Armani Prif Spring Summer 2019 show as part of Paris Fashion Week. Photo, Pascal Le Segretain, Staff, Getty Images Chanel goes feminine for spring, Armani Priv proves red is timeless at Paris Fashion Week Paris, it's snowing in Paris, but not at Chanel, which showcased 18th century inspired frothy couture inside a sunlit Italian villa. For once, Karl Lagerfeld didn't take his usual bow, with the house saying the octogenarian designer was fatigued. Some highlights of the spring-summer 2019 couture collections, Karl Lagerfeld absent Chanel's designer Lagerfeld, who has looked increasingly frail in recent seasons, did not come out to take a bow at the house's couture collections in Paris because he was tired. In his place, his longtime studio director Virginie Vire appeared through a door in the lavish Italian villa decor that had been painstakingly created by the house. It immediately prompted surprise and visible sadness from many fashion editors attending the show at the Grand Palais. At the end of the first show at 10 a.m., an announcement explained the designer would appear for the noon presentation. But come noon, the German-born couturier was absent again. It's the first time in recent memory that Lagerfeld, who has designed for the Parisian stalwart since 1983 and was a contemporary of the late Yves Saint Laurent, has not been physically present to receive applause at the end of a show. In a statement, Chanel said, for the traditional greeting at the end of the show, Mr. Lagerfeld, artistic director of Chanel, who was feeling tired, asked Fired to represent him, without providing any further details. Villa Chanel's couture gentle geometry defined Chanel's summer silhouette on Tuesday, one that riffed on the décor's impressive architecture. The set this season featured a shimmering Italian Chanel villa center stage, with steps that led the gaze down to myriad real palm trees, grass and a rectangular pool. Shivering and dripping guests were momentarily transported away from Paris's sub-zero temperatures and snow to enjoy a moment of summer bliss, and the close pastel hues glistened in floodlights evoking warm sunshine. Slits in the skirt and long vertical lines in the center of the body were a central theme in this season's feminine 62 look collection. A silvery skirt suit, a house signature, opened the show with a slit running down the leg to the season's new shoe, a backless pointed heel with a full-fronted panel. Sofia Coppola goes couture, Marie Antoinette, director Sofia Coppola was among VIP guests invited to admire Villa Chanel's 18th-century full-skirted designs. I did think of Marie Antoinette when I saw the pink dresses at the end. Beautiful, she told AP. It evoked a bygone era to see the dresses with the feathers up close, she added. Coppola, who won the Best Director Award at the Cannes Film Festival in 2017, has come a long way since she first forged ties with the Parisian house as a nervous teenage intern. Bond girl Carol Bouquet had helped the young Coppola find the stint. I was really intimidated. It was thrilling to be 15 in Paris in the 80s at Chanel, she said. It was during the couture, so it was incredible seeing it being made, Armani Priv is eternal there is something timeless about Giorgio Armani's couture. The timelessness is not just apparent in the eternal elegance of his styles, which on Tuesday showed off the fashion icon's famed cutting skills through tailored jackets. Armani cut his teeth in menswear tailoring. But it's also apparent in the way the couturier evokes an imagined reality. The Armani Priv collections thus throw to the wind any real interest in evoking a spring-summer season, for instance, or a trend or any up-to-the-minute fad. At the second of Tuesday's double shows, alongside Chanel, Armani Priv showcased a series of archetypically couture looks in the exclusive Hotel de Evreux in the place Vendome that made statements of their own with shimmer and bold color. 
billowing silk and Asian style pants shimmered below tops that contrasted in their color or texture, in checks, sequins or paillettes. The designs could have featured in any of the designers' shows of the last few years without looking out of place. But as Yves Saint Laurent once said, fashions come and go, style is eternal. The versatile beau French designer Alexis Mabel's signature bow made a recurrent appearance in varying sizes, styles and colors at his Demir Couture display Tuesday. It began as a front detail on a truncated, shoulderless little black dress. Then, the mischievous item cropped up as a cinched belt on a coral red gown or a long pink satin one with divergent stripes. Going retro, the bow was conjured up as a back quote 70s jabot collar on a fair a faucet like blue silk column dress. But the pièce de résistance was the details cameo as an oversized bust detailing, giving the feeling that the model in a red tulle gown could be unwrapped. Other great ideas in the 45-piece display included a look that used swaths of bright yellow ruffled silk to cocoon its wearer. It was, however, the versatile bow that stole the show.